it's a kid way too niche, way too what if, or a lot of copying in the sense of, guys, she's future proof because the next characters will have true damage. Now, you might be seeing the title of the video and thinking, damn, Sefi, that's kind of a big of an exaggeration calling uh, Clay the worst unit of 2024. But the reality is that if we go and check the units released this year, right, and we actually have the list right here, uh, it's not that far fetched. So, before we start, right, leave a like, subscribe, help me grow the channel. Also, hello, the internet, welcome back to the Waifus. I'm Sefi. We're gonna be talking a little bit about Clay, why she is one of the worst units released this year so far, right? They can always uh, give us one up. And also a little bit of what Shift up doing in terms of releasing banners and these baits and hopefully what they change. We'll also do a small review. Honestly, I don't think there's even a need to be doing a character review right now uh, for her because she beat really, really bad. Uh, there is a small review on the website already if you want to check it. She is already on the tier list and she has her pros, cons and everything in there. So if you prefer that, you can go watch that before. Uh, but first, let's do talk about the characters released this year. So first of all, we have Bunnies, right? Bunnies are actually decent characters. Alice is better than Soda, but they are both decent characters. Trani is like a decent DPS. She is not amazing by any means. Since we have so many options for DPSs, it's hard to justify using her over anything else, but she is not bad. Then you have Kron, a completely broken character. And it's like, okay, damn, that's actually pretty good. After Kron, we get into our first bad unit of the year, right? 2020. Or aka Bay. She is a contender for one of the worst units, even though she can have some usage where you need some damage mitigation with the V2. And again, that is she's not the best option, but she's usable for that. Collab characters were pretty good, pretty decent. The problem is they release Rem and then Crone, which was like, okay, why would I do releasing Rem and then the most broken V2 of the whole game, right? Nonsense, but it's fine. Then we got Dickler Wife, amazing V1, one of the best V1s in the game. Some people even consider her better than Litter. I Personally, I think Litter is above, but the two is their own, I would say, right? Then you have Alec. See, Alec, it's a case of a support done properly. When they release Alec, we already have four characters with distributed damage. I believe it's four or three, whatever it is. But you can make a team with Alec the moment she's out. She's a support, right? Supposedly. She boosts distributed damage. She lets you burst instantly. And there is characters that can use her boof from the get-go. You don't have to wait six months. You don't have to wait a year. You don't have to be making hypotheticals to see if Shift Up is releasing characters based on her kit or not. And that's why Shift Up is doing a lot uh, with new characters and new kits. Beat cleans, shotguns, they distribute damage, and now we get uh, a new meta, the new meta of true damage, right? So this is what Shift Up is doing a lot of times where they release characters where that makes no sense, but at least there's options. When Tove was released, there was plenty of shotguns. Not all of them benefit from Tov, and not actually. And actually, when she came out, you know, she wasn't good compared to what we have right now available. But at least there were options. There were shotguns. When we talk about Elec, there were options. When we talk about Bay and Clay, it's like there is nothing. There is nothing, right? Then we have made Privacy and Eight. Actually. A is another contender for one of the worst characters of 2024, alright? Privacy is pretty good, a really solid DPS, and we have more buffers for shotgun now, so she was pretty decent from the get-go. Then we got Moran and Leona. Now, <laughs> this is an interesting one, right? Because Moran, some people will say she's decent. I personally don't think that that's the case. I think she's at the same level as the other girls. Again, you could make a point of Bay and Moran and where to use them, and it would be okay. Yeah, if you need that much mitigation, they might be able to, to help you out. I think they will both get killed completely. Moran, more so, she cannot even cover on town, but whatever. Uh, they are uh, super niche units for new players who have nothing else. Uh, then we got Leona. This is a 2023, this is 2024, but it is wrong. Leona was really good. And then we have the last two banners, or the first two banners, if you will, of 2024, of Black Shadow, the best damage dealer in the game, and Modernia. So those have been the kids so far, right? From all of those kids, in six months, almost seven, we've gotten four units that are really, really bad. It, again, we could say Moran and Bay have some niche usage, even though I don't consider that to be the case, but let's just remove them. So that, that leaves us with Aid and 
clay. And what both of them have in common? Well, they're both B tools, they're both completely useless, and they support absolutely nothing, right? Because the Didio community, it is not worth right now, and because both of her percentages have the same issue, where they are too low. When we talk about the max HP buffer, 8% and 60% is nothing. Also, 120 attacks, and also her conditions to progress her skills are not that great. So, once again, both of them are uh, quite of a um, niche that doesn't exist. Future proof that we are at the hands of shift up in order to release characters that can actually fit with them, right? So that's where we are right now. So that one of the two worst characters you can decide for your own own. Let me know in the comments which one do you think is the worst so far this year. But that is where we are right now. Clay. Now let's talk about why she is so bad and why characters like this make the game less enjoyable for absolutely everyone. And even with the good fan service, don't get me wrong, she does look good. She look, she does look gorgeous. But why would I care when, when I actually want to play with her? She is literally Crow, right? Who, who want to play with Crow? Because you play with Crow and you and you see your supports doing more damage. I mean, I mean even it's a support, right? But she's not buffing anything. So let's talk about her kid a little bit. You have a kit that activates only during fell burst time, all right? So that's a skill one. If you're not on your fell burst time duration, aka 10 seconds, unless you're using someone to extend it, a 15, a skill one doesn't work. So this true damage buff cannot, cannot stack, cannot have 100% uptime. Damage to projectiles, niche, and there is no real enemies right now that we have to worry about these projectiles. Again, so far, right? Maybe there are some more enemies that need this increased damage, but that's a big if. Then you have a skill 2 that activates when entering versus stage 1, affect analyze immunity to debuff for 10 seconds. This is the only part of her kit that you can say, okay, this is kind of nice. You have a 10 second window to control when you want to get a cleanse ready for your team, when you want your versus stage 1. She doesn't even need to burst. That's pretty cool. Then you have the second part with activates only when in this state. Once again, only works when you are on your first per time. So that's a skill and half that are useless unless you are on that window, right? And then you have versus skill, go, go, victory, affecting all allies, increasing true damage. But the reality is that outside of the Laplace, no one can take this buff. Yes, you could put, uh, I think it's Fitting now or Exa, I don't remember which one, but still it's not enough, right? And then she has normal attack, deal true damage, but only for herself, on an SMG supporter, the worst archetype of weapon type the game has, because how they design them, I don't know, just ask shift up if they're gonna move them XD. So, we're talking about the character that finds no use, that is completely useless unless you are on your full burst time, that is a 40 second B2 competing on one of, of the most competitive slots in the game right now, uh, that she does nothing for you. Even with true damage, we were testing this by the way, um, if I go here, I can open Figma probably, uh, my B is still open, yes, perfect. So, if you see the difference in terms of damage difference between Laplace and SBS is the same. It's still the same, but if you see the difference in numbers, in damage itself, with Banish, of course Banish are better. If you see the difference in numbers uh, with Clay, that goes down, always it goes down. With uh, Clay Naga, it goes up, but it's because Naga is there. <laughs> Naga is felt carrying every single team. If you put Crone and uh, Naga, then the damage goes a lot higher, right? But the base damage is super low with Clay, the difference between Laplace and Scarlet Black Shadow doesn't grow any shorter, sorry, doesn't shrink or whatever you want to say that in English. Laplace cannot catch up to Scarlet just because you have Clay on your team with a true damage buff. Now, when we get both, uh, again, Freema or X, I don't remember which one it is, we'll test again, but it's not a really good test. Now, we also tried Dragon Mummy on hard mode. The problem is that my Laplace has so much combat power that she's doing more damage than my Scarlet Black Shadow and my Red Hook. You might be thinking, but that's because of Clay, right? Not really, because then we remove her and we put Crown and Naga, and still Laplace was doing more damage. This is not because of true damage, it's because she has so much combat power thanks to the collection item that she's just doing more damage, right? CP uh, shenanigans, if you will. So right now we're getting a character that doesn't buff through damage, right? It's not making Laplace hit harder. It's 40 seconds and it's completely useless on her own. Meaning the only character that's supposed to buff is not even buffing. So why would you buff for her? Oh, well, you should not buff for her. <laughs> you should skip, all right? So that's just my, my little opinion there on what you should do with her, uh, on why also she kind of sucks, right? It's just that it's a kid way too niche, way too what if, or a lot of copying in the sense of, guys, she's future-proof because the next characters will have true damage. 
and maybe they do maybe some of these units have two damage but why should we be waiting for a support to get these units to support that is retarded okay that, that is stupid if you should release a support she should be having units to work with we shouldn't be having these options of fomo where it's like oh you should pull because maybe some of the characters have two damage. Because maybe in six months they release two characters with two damage, one with CDR, and we can make a full team, and we have the, the next meta, right? And we can make videos on. And it's like, oh no, shift up is tripping. That's the TLDR uh, of this video. If you want to see her full review, you can on the website. I do not think I'll make a video on full review. I might make one tomorrow. I'm still salty of pulling for her. I actually like her. Like, her design is amazing. I just feel like... Characters that look good do not need to be shit. They can be decent. I'm, I'm not saying meta. I'm saying decent, at least usable, right? And this is not the case. That said, though, let me know what you guys think. Enough uh, ranting about Clay and the current situation. Hopefully, shift up either chills down, slows down on publishing characters, or uh, we go into a little bit of uh, more usable characters from now on. Uh, that said, um, we'll see revenue for the next month, how it's doing, probably it's going to be doing amazing. There is some news already for Summer and what's coming, so Nikkei is going to be doing good. There is no problem for that. Let me know what you guys think about Clay if you did pull. That's going to be it for this one, just a small rant. Thank you to my patrons for making this content possible, as usual, of usual puzzles. Good luck with your pull, the internet, and see you on the next one. ベンチ万物を切るとはこういうことです。